These girls are the daughters of the garbage collectors of Cairo. Uh, from when they were about four years old, they went out on the garbage route with their parents. They are incredible people. It would have been so much easier to turn to a life of crime. Or be lazy, go on welfare, go to the mosque or the church. But they chose to make an honest living out of the worst imaginable way, and that's sorting garbage manually. Lila capitalizes on the trash sorting skills that the girls have been practicing since they were four years old and teaches them how to make rugs from rags. The rags are a substitute for the garbage they sort at home. It's based on the skill of sorting garbage. Garbage would normally come into the home and get dumped in the entrance to the house. These rags are not recovered from garbage. These specifically come from the textile industry of Egypt. Once the girls master the sorting and hand rug weaving, they graduate to the loom. It's a simple machine that gives them the power to make bigger rugs, and more importantly, the power to earn more money. 17-year-old Baketa is also learning something else, self-respect. Now I feel that I'm leading the life of a natural person, but before that I did not feel so. Now I feel that I'm equal with anybody else who works. Now I have my own money and I can spend it in whatever way I want and I don't have to depend on anybody else. Now I can buy whatever I want. You can actually pinpoint the day that their eyes sparkle and the look on their faces says, uh, I am now an enabled, empowered person. And how does it make you feel to see these women change? Like I can die in peace.